Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more TGC 2019. Hope you all had a good weekend. You just watch Paul Casey retain his title at the Valspar. Very well good at Copperhead. Really, really chuffed for him. I hope he does well in the Masters next month. Anyway, today we are going to play Fisher's King Club. Uh, Fisher's Island Club. And this is by BS Petty. Uh, this is a lighter course. And if you haven't seen any of uh, BS Petty's courses, I've got a couple on the channel actually. Uh, Kamari Cliffs which he did for the World Cup Tour of Design, the TGC Tours one. And he also did Sweeten's Cove and a collaboration with Job Fickett, which is a very, very, another very well done course. That's a, another RCR, so you just want to give them a play. They're very, very nice courses. Anyway, so this is Fisher's Island Club. As I said, it's a lighter course. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to play off the blue tees, 6,620 yards, so it's pretty short actually. Now what I'll do as well, uh, in the description of the video, <coughs> I'll leave a link to uh, a video that one of the guys on TGC Tours does. It sort of explains how to use LiDAR and OpenStreetMap and things like that. There was a video on on Twitch um, from Chad Golf, but it's actually, after a certain amount of time, the, the Twitch videos come down, I think, if you're not partnered and it's not there anymore. He sort of went through it. He was a guy who actually made the little program for the designers to, to use... So we're going to bring up the scout cam and we're going to have a little look about. Uh, I'm going to read out what yes, Petty actually put down here uh, about the course while we have a, a little scan around. Very nice looking. Okay, the Fishers Island Club is a country club located near the eastern end of Fishers Island in New York. The club includes an 18-hole golf course designed by Seth Radar that was ranked 9th in the 2009 Golf Digest list of American 100 Greatest Golf Courses. This is very nice looking. The golf course has been called the Cypress Point of the East and is also referred to by its members as the Big Club. To distinguish it from the Hay Harbour Club, another country club on the western part of the island with a nine-hole golf course. Uh, the course opened in July 1926, a few months after the death of its arch architect, Seth Rayner. Most of the holes have water views of Block Island sound or Fisher's Island sound. Like his mentor, Charles B. MacDonald, Rayner patterned many of the holes after classic designs at other courses, including the Alps, Blaritz or Biarritz, Cape, Double Plateau, Eden, Punchbow, Ridan and Short. Uh, the country club also has four tennis courts and a beach club. So a very nice looking course. Okay. Yeah, he's done a really nice job here. So let's get back on the tee. Oh, there's one of the tennis courts. Oh, there's four tennis courts there, actually. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get my hood back on. Oop, where are you going? Get back over there. Okay, so what we got? Hole 1, 392 yards, par 4, snow stroke index. It's actually just been released. Really nice platen all the way sort of around these little pockets of water here. Okay, nice first drive. Okay, I've done one another course on LiDAR, and I, I sort of went through what it was. It actually stands for light detection and ranging. Okay, 79 yards, 5 feet up, so it's actually playing about 80. I'm going to drop down to 73 here. That should still run up towards the hole, I reckon. If we get the perfect, perfect. Oh, we hit a slow. That should still be okay, actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's amazing, isn't it? You hit a, a slow down swing and it goes further than what you would if you hit a perfect, perfect. <laughs> you think if you had a fast downswing, it would go further, but not slow. Crazy. Okay, we've got eight feet, one inch down. Oh, I just slid past the left-hand side. Yeah, the LiDAR works uh, similar to the way to sort of radar and sonar. It uses light waves from a laser instead of radio or sound waves. A LiDAR system calculates how long it takes for the, the light to hit an object or surface and reflect back to the scanner. 
Oof. The distance is then calculated using the velocity of light. There, these are known as time of flight measurements. The LIDAR, LIDAR systems can fire around a million pulses per second. Each of these measurements return can be processed into a 3D visualization as a point cloud. So basically, uh, Chad Golf made a little program for the guys on TGC to import this LIDAR data straight onto the the, uh, the golf club. After what they do as well, they go under um, open street map and uh, sort of trace their course over the top, the LIDAR data as well. So you're getting a very accurate uh, sort of read of the topography of the course there, all the slight little humps and bumps and things like that. As I said, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to sort of as a sort of step by step by one of the guys on TGC Tours that did it, so you can have a look at that. Pretty complicated, but I think once you've done it once or twice, you'll get used to it. Okay, 175. That wind's just a little bit against, so I think we should be good with the 7 iron. And the way that slopes, that should feed it around towards the hole as well. Oh, that's a nice hit. The wind's pushing it around lovely. Oh, it's a little bit short. Come on. Oh, come on. I wanted to go a little bit further than that. That's not too bad, though. Okay, 11 feet. Oh, nice putt. Yeah, I hope you all had a good weekend. I've been playing the Division 2 all weekend. I finally caved in and bought it. I said I was going to leave it because I was too busy sort of playing Anthem, but it just looks so good. Uh, I've been... Oh, I've just been hammering it all weekend. Great game. Loving it at the moment. Okay, hole 3, 324 yards, par 4. As you see, the, the little undulations out in the fairway there. It's, they're actually so accurate with the, the LiDAR data. Okay, pretty short hole, this one. I think we'll just smash the driver up there anyway. That'll probably leave us a, a little flop shot onto the green, I think. I'm really enjoying these lighter courses though. They, they, they've really done very well. But again, you've got to, like I say, you've got to know what you're doing in the design as well. You've got to get the plant and all that right as well. There's no point just putting the, the proper topography of the course in and then just uh, half ass planting it. You know what I mean? It's still got to look nice. Still got to look good. Okay, 24 yards. Flop shot. Let's put a little bit of loft on this. You get the perfect, perfect here. Oh, we get a slow. That stopped pretty quick though, so that's not too bad. Just push that a little bit to the right there. Okay, we've got seven feet, two inches up. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, you, as soon as I hit it. If you look at my line, I, I always pull my putts left, and I don't know why I don't move them more to the right. Silly. But like I say, guys, I'm not here to score well and... I just here yeah, I love I love showing these courses off for the designers, give them that little bit of recognition. Because they, they definitely deserve it. I mean they're gonna start pumping these LIDAR courses out though. But as again, as I said, they've got to get the planting right. They can't just use the, the LIDAR data and just throw any half ass course out, if you know what I mean. I mean if you look at the fairways there, they're just all these slight little humps and bumps. This is whole four or four hundred and sixteen yards. I mean just look. Well, this would be so hard to do to get so accurate just by eyesight, if you know what I mean. Really well done. Okay, 420. Again, it's a pretty short course this actually, so I'm just going to smash the driver up here again. That should be fine, that should be right in the middle. That's not bad at all. Okay, just over 300 yards, 305 yards. That leaves us 120, right about 117 to the pin. So let's put a little bit of loft on this. It's another nice strike, just hoping that wind pushes it around to the left for me. Ooh, it didn't, it sort of stayed out there to the right. That's what it's going to leave us a, well, about 10 foot, 8 foot, 10 foot, but ah, 10 foot, there we go. Okay, a little bit of a turn right to the left here. But we get it. Do you know, I haven't even looked at the speed of the greens. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> We're on what? The, the fifth hole. 
K hole 5, 235 yards, par 3. Quite a longish par 3, this one. I do like that sort of real sandy coastline he's got going all the way up there, the right hand side. Okay, I don't want to chance this going right at the front of the green. I have to get. Oh, that's not bad actually. I think before hybrid, that should be good. Hopefully, it'll hit that upslope and sort of kill the ball for me. Oh, I've pulled out a little bit to the left. Oh, no, come on, get up, 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 up. Oh, and it did exactly what I said it would do there. Lovely. Okay, 12 feet, 2 inches up. Got a bit of a turn here. Left to right, sort of break here. Oh, and it's going to break too much. Yep. Yeah, I could have put a bit more pace in that if I wanted to. I would have had that. So, only two birdies so far. 06, 546 yards, par 5. Again, as I said, you've got to have nice planting as well. And this, this looks really, really nice off the tee here. Again, you can see, I'll see the, the sort of little hills and the little humps and bumps and the way the sort of the fairway sort of cambers down to the left there. There's quite a few coming out. Mary and Easton, all that's coming out as well. Um, Craig 118, I think he's doing a version of Pine Valley. He's just released uh, his updated version of Pine Valley that he had for TGC2. He's brought over to 2019, which is a non lighter version, but he's actually doing the lighter version as well, I think. Okay, I think the driver might actually run out here, you know. Oh, but it is uphill. Not slightly uphill. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go with the driver here. I think I'm going to go with the two wood. Just to be safe. I want to, didn't want it to run all the way down there onto that wall. We might go away with that, you know. So that's going to leave us a lengthy second shot to try and get on the green here. 285. Do you know what? We still might make this, you know. How's the green? Which way is it sloping? Okay, the green is actually sloping left to right. The wind's going to push it a little bit to the left. I think I'll just aim it straight down the pipe here. Yeah. Hopefully that wind will sort of turn it for us. Then the green will do the rest. That's looking good. If it gets on the green, come on. Come on. Oh yes. Now that, that turn in the green should bring it round towards the pin for us here. That is not bad at all. Quite happy with that. 283 yards with the two wood straight on in the green. That's going to leave us 12 feet. Now this is quite a sharp turn on this one. Again, I don't want to hit this too hard though. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's just slid past on the downside. On the low side. So we should come off with the birdie though. That was a wasted chance at an eagle. We get the birdie though. Okay, what we're on three under. Okay, hole seven, three hundred and seventy-four yards, par four. Okay, again, great view off the tee here. This would be a lovely course to play in real life. And great plan, all that water around it as well. Okay, ten mile an hour wind with us. That's going to take it right up towards the green, so it should leave us with a probably a little flop shot. Should be fine. Oh, it's going to come off to the left here. Stop, oh, stop. Oh, it's just trickled off into the first cut there. And it's going to leave us a, quite a nasty right to left slope as well. So 42, so it's playing about 44. Okay, 88 to 93. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go with the flop. Let's down loft it just a touch. Oh, we get the perfect, perfect. That slope didn't move that at all. That did 
nothing to that ball. Okay, we've got a little chip. Seven yards, one foot up. Now, don't want a full swing here. Probably about 50%, 60%. Oh, go on. Oh, you couldn't get any closer than that. Wow, look at that. Three inches. Yeah, I should have went in. Okay, hole eight, 459 yards, par five. It's a beautiful looking hole, this one. That coastline going all the way up there. The right hand side there with the, all the, the rocks planted. Very, very nice looking. Okay, you good lighting as well, the, the sun's just beating down that. Yeah, with the, the light there, you can see all the, the sort of tiny little sort of humps and bumps and undulations on the fairway. I mean, just look at that. Very, very nice. Okay, the wind's coming in from the left-hand side, so we should just aim down this left-hand side just a little bit. Okay, I haven't done too bad with my tempo today. There's a couple of little, I think there's a, one of the flop shots I missed. Everything else has been perfect, perfect, and pretty good. I usually say that and then I screw my next one up. <laughs> that sod's low, that one, isn't it? Okay, well, we've got 147, so it's played about 150. Okay, 150. That wind is coming in from the left hand side there. Now come on wind, push it around. I down lofted that a little bit. I didn't want to play too much with that bunker. Oh, ho, 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 ho. just as well I did down loft that. That would have been in that steep faced bunker there. Okay, that's not a bad little putt though. Well, we've got 12 feet, two inches up. Ah, the green speed is 175. That's me looking at the green speed now on hole eight. <laughs> oh, that's pacey. Oh. <gasps> Straight away, that was me. I sort of stopped in my first swing, moved it, and then took another swing. I should have just went straight away. K hole 9, 367 yards, par 4. Okay, this looks like it's got a bit of a dog leg coming around to the left hand side here. I know, it's just a sort of blind tee shot. Couldn't see over that crest that. I thought it was actually turning more to the left. Oh, look at this wind as well. Nice. Should be able to... Oh, I'm going to play out to the right here, but I'm going to do a little bit of draw on it. Oh, that's driver. That was too good. Could get close to the green here. Let's put some draw on this. Oh, slow down swing. Uh, back swing. Come on. As you know, slow back swing. It's going to take quite a bit of pace off the drive. Quite a bit of distance. That's not too bad though. 317 yards. Okay, we're just over to the right hand side of the fairway here. 54 yards to the pin. Got a 57 with a pitch. I don't want that. Oh, 57, 54. I'm going to have to put a lot of loft on this. Don't like putting lofts on the pitches. It's not so bad though, because you look at the back of the pin, it's got quite a slope, so hopefully it's not going to go up that. Yeah, come on. Pull up for me. Come on, come back. Oh yes, that's nice. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, it leaves us five feet or one inch down. I hate these little putts, I really do. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> I don't know what I did there. I sort of stopped mid swing. Okay, hole 10, 399 yards, par four. Okay, good light coming off the, the sea there, the ocean. So if this is New York, uh, would that 
You're coming off the Atlantic Ocean because it's on the East Coast, isn't it? New York. Okay, nine mile an hour wind, right in the face. Went to New York in 2011. <coughs> I loved it, I thought it was brilliant. <coughs> it's actually the anniversary of 9-11 um, uh, when we went, uh, the day we were coming back. Uh, we came back on the 11th of September. Okay, now was, they're actually in the middle of making the, the big monument that they've got there now. I don't know what it's called. It was sort of half half built when I was there. Okay, 119. It's playing 123. A little bit of seven mile an hour wind. So what we'll do, we'll down loft it to counteract that wind. Oh yes, we are doing nice with this tempo today. Oh, I thought that might have went a bit further. Okay. Oh no. Putting's a bit off. My tempo's there, but my putting's not there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if I can get both of them working, then you're in for a good score. But <laughs> there's always one with me. If my putting's working, my tempo's off. That was a shocking, shocking putt that was, though. That really was. All of them, 165 yards, par three. Again, beautiful looking bowl, this one. Okay, 163, so it's playing about 161. We've got a bit of wind coming off from the left-hand side. Let's put a bit of loft on this, not too much. Oh, that wind's going to take that. I've even pushed that to the right. Distance wasn't too bad. Okay, so what does that leave us with the putt? That leaves us 19 feet or one inch down. This is going to turn quite a bit here. Oh, nice putt. Get in now. Miss the easy ones and then you get ones like that. <laughs> okay, hole 12, 384 yards, par four. Not sure what... Um, theme this is in though. I haven't got a clue about themes. The only theme I know is um, Highland. It doesn't look like Highland theme to me. Is it Step? No, not Step. That's a desert theme. Um, what's the other one? Delta, I think. I think it might be the Delta theme. I think. I'm not sure. Use the tell when you look at the trees. I think it is the Delta. I think. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will let me know. As I say, I don't use the designer. I'm just a player. Uh -huh. Just a player. I just play the game. I don't use the designer at all, so I haven't really got a clue. It's, as I said, sometimes you can look like you can sort of notice the island theme a mile off, but I suppose the way some of these designers do it, it could be tri pretty tricky. Okay, 55. Okay, that's playing. Oh, about 60, I reckon. A bit of a slope that. So I'm going to leave it with a 57. Let's put a little bit of loft on this. Oh, another nice. Perfect, perfect. That should turn. That's nice. Perfect distance. Should leave us a little tap in for the birdie. No, I wouldn't say tap in. Five feet. The tap in for the... On the golf club, but playing in real life is still a little... Little twitcher, that putt. Okay, hold 13, 403 yards, par 4. Yeah, I hope these guys are enjoying these uh, lighter courses that are out now. As I said, you're not going to get a more accurate representation of a course if uh, they're using lighter, to be honest. But again, they've got to, got to nail it in the planting as well, and the, the way the course comes out. Okay, I'm going to go down to the two wood here. Do you know that two wood still might be a little bit far? Could have went down to the four hybrid there. Let's have a look. Is it going to run out? Oh no, that's fine. Will it go further than that? 
Okay, 135. 136 for the pitching wedge. Let's just tiny, tiny touch of loft on that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's going to be a little bit right of the pin though. Nah, it's not bad. A little bit short, a little bit right. Oh, is that a slope? Oh, the ball's just stopped. Okay, 11 feet, 5 inches up. <laughs> just missing these easy little putts here. Just not um, concentrating, to be honest. So when I'm taking that putt there, I was looking over in the distance. I'm, I'm sure I've seen a lighthouse. Sort of caught my eye. That's my excuse anyway. Okay, hole 14. 423 yards, par 4. You like the sort of the terrain work there with the hills going up. Up on the right hand side there. Look at the houses up on the hills. Okay, can we make it? Nope, we can't make that. So we're going to drop it down. I'm going to drop it down to one iron here. Oh, I've pulled out a little bit left and that wind's pushing it around as well. Oh, come on. Stay on for me. Oh, that's not bad. That should be fine. 248 yards. Kind of wanted to be on this left-hand side of the fairway anyway. So that leaves us 155, 156 to the pin. I think we're 148. I think that should be fine. I uh, need the wind to pull it around. Come on. That's looking bang on. That'll do. I could have downloaded that just a touch, but it's not too bad. That leaves us nine feet. And we pull another 30. Who are we on? I don't even know what I'm scored. Um, eight under. Okay, hole 15, 537 yards. Par five. Yeah, I kind of get carried away. I keep looking left and right over in the distance. It's a beautiful looking hole, this one. I'm looking at the houses over on the right hand side there. Beautiful view of them from here. Very nicely done. Oh, it's a slow downswing. Again, that's going to take a bit of distance off. Just over 300 yards. No, can we still reach the green in two? I wonder. That swing was pretty, pretty naff. Okay, 235, definitely reached the green. 235, so it's playing about 240. I think we should be good with the one eye on. That should be good. That wind should pull around. There's a kind of a slope coming off the the right hand side that should bring it back towards the left. Yep, here we go. Come on. And that sets us up for an eagle again. I totally screwed this. Ah, there's a lighthouse there. I knew I'd seen one. Okay, 10 feet, one inch up. Let me get the eagle. Oh, 16, 145 yards, par 3, beautiful looking little par 3 this one. I do like the short par 3s, I really do. I don't think it's actually a lighthouse, I think it's just somebody's house because the lighthouse would usually be pointing out to sea if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's pretty nice though. Oh, I like the way he's done that, be cool. Very nice. Let's get back over onto the tee. Okay, what have we got? 146. Let's play about 141. And the wind is against us, nine mile an hour. Let's down off that just a touch. Tell you what, I'm not actually doing that little practice swing that I usually do, and hitting these temples is very, very nice. That distance is absolutely spot on. Okay, it's another birdie. <clears throat> that brings us up to I think 11 under. 
It's, as I said, it's a very short course though, and I mean, some of them putts I've missed should be on what, 13, 14 under by now? Oh, 17, 416 yards, par four. I mean, even these, uh, even though we're using the master clubs and we're hitting off the back tees, some of these lighter courses, I mean, they're not like US Open courses and things like that. These are just local courses that a lot of people are going to uh, be doing. So they are going to be playing short and they are going to be playing pretty easy, I think. But it's just nice to play them, I, I reckon. It's just a nice, enjoyable round of golf, I think. Oh, that's a screw. Oh, right down the middle. Three hundred and twenty yards, right in the middle of the fairway. Okay, ninety nine. That's playing about one hundred and one. Okay, one hundred and one, one hundred and eight. Hopefully, I've not took too much off. Now that's absolutely spot on. Okay, a little tap in for another birdie. Now, see, that's the way I'm looking putting line up. That's the way I should be putting. Just a pity I can't remember how I do it. <laughs> I still pull them left. Okay, final hole. Hole 18, 147 yards, par 5. Stroke index. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine this will get a stroke index pretty soon. It'll get a handicap. Very, very good designer, uh, Brian. Uh, sure, that's his name, Brian. B.S. Petty. Oh, that was almost a fast. Nope, a slow, should I say, sorry. It's to the right of the box there. Not bad, though. Just under 300 yards. Okay, 156. That's playing about 160 roundabouts. So let's down off the little touch just to counteract that wind. With the AI in the Oh no, I want to get past. Make sure I get past that slope there. Oh, I thought I hit a fast. That was almost a fast. Oh, I don't think I have got past it. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so we're going to leave his house at. Massive and tough putt. The final hole. Let's just hope we get close. Oh, is it going off? It is. Good. You can flop it. Because uh, if it was on the green, um, I wouldn't flop or a chip. Okay, 19. So that's actually playing 20 yards. Do you know what? I might just go with a chip here. I think I will. That's no oh, rolled on a little bit. It hit the upslope. That's what I kind of wanted it to do, just to sort of take a little bit of sting off it. Okay, six feet, one inch down. Got to get this. We don't want to have a bogey on this round. And we get it. So there you go, guys. That is Fisher's Island Club, and that is by the BS Petty. What a beautiful course. Uh, plays pretty easy. Yeah, should have bumped the wind right up or something like that. But as again, it's a very, very short course. Minus 13. That's not too bad. Again, it's a lighter course. Uh, don't forget, guys, uh, if you like the content, hit that like button. And I'll catch you again next time. Give this a play. And thanks for watching.